Hey everybody, it's Devin here at Predatory Plants doing another uh, review of our Nepenthes breeding program here at the greenhouse. The last video I produced on this was done about six months ago, so I figured it was a good time to check in on a lot of our crosses again now that they've had the summer behind them to put on some growth. This is the first cross we've ever produced, which is Nepenthes Maiden of Victory. That's Maxima by Ventricosa Red, and uh, this plant's about four years old. You can see it's quite large. Um, this plant was feature featured in the last video, but we've since potted up its siblings. We only have a few of these, and we're using them kind of as a growth metric for our in-house hybrids. Next up is a handful of crosses that were done on a female Nepenthes ventricosa black peristome, a plant that we've dubbed Virtue. So this is Nepenthes Virtue's Mirror, which is ventricosa by Mira. Really nice peristome development on this, very red. Um, it has maintained a lot of ventricosa characteristics, um, so it seems to be that ventricosa is very dominant in this cross. The other one here is pure ventricosa, Nepenthes Virtue's Victory, which is a ventricosa red by, uh, excuse me, ventricosa black peristome by ventricosa red. Uh, these have been a little bit slower than the Virtue's Mirror, they're a little smaller, they're a little more tubular but quite similar because, again, it looks like the ventricosa is very dominant in that cross. This one here is Nepenthes Virtue's Triumph, which is ventricosa by Talangensis. And this was the one that kind of lagged behind its siblings, but it started to really get going over the summer. I mean, that's not surprising. Talangensis prefers the warmer weather. It's got these fun, tubby little pitchers. Next up are some of our crosses on Nepenthes Densiflora by Spectabilis Giant which is a hybrid from Borneo Exotics. This is Nepenthes Dream of Trouble, which is Densiflora by Spectabilis Giant by Terrible Cross. Uh, it's a name for a, a hybrid that we don't know the identity of here in the greenhouse. Pretty cute, looks kind of like a Nepenthes Alba, something in that complex. Started to leaf jump, so maybe the subsequent pictures will uh, look a little bit more impressive. This cross, Nepenthes Dream of Triumph, is already pretty fantastic. Uh, this is uh, Nepenthes uh, Densiflora Spectabilis Giant, by Talangensis. And so as you can see, they've got a really nice Talangensis shape, uh, but a lot of the color from Densiflora by Spectabilis Giant. Uh, three of the four that we selected have very nice striping. This is sort of a muted kind of stripes. This one even more so, uh, but, but this one's quite nice because it's got a very dramatic, almost Aristolochioides like picture shape. But this plant here, which is clone B, has crazy candy striping. Um, so that's got the most bold and dramatic stripes so far. One of the ones we selected also doesn't have any stripes at all, but it gets very dark. Um, well, it might have some vague striping on the peristome, but it's that dark striping that's hard to see. Anyway, this is worth seeing for just uh, the kind of variation that the cross can produce. Speaking of variation, we've got Nepenthes Dream of Victory which is Densiflora by Spectabilis Giant by Ventricosa. I've covered this in uh, several videos, and it's one of my favorite crosses we've got because it's got a lot of variation, and some of them are really nice. Uh, as you may remember, a few of these have nice striping, similar to the Dream of Triumph. This one is Clone C, which has got sort of a darker red striping. Then we've got Clone B here, uh, which has a very elaborate peristome. Uh, and, uh, and a kind of brighter red color on the pitcher body. Everyone's favorite was Clone A, which has got this kind of pale pitcher body with stripes, and Clone A is getting even fatter. So this is pretty fun to see. Uh, it's gonna be quite tubby eventually, it looks like. One of my favorites, though, is less striped, but it's got fantastic peristome development. As you can see, this is Clone D, um, and is very robust, and it kind of looks like um, Ventricosa by Sibionensis by Trismatiensis, you know, there, there are certain crosses that sort of do this uh, high-ridged, teethed peristome with flare and kind of blocky. I don't know, I think it's a very fun cross. I've got one of our Titan crosses in here, but the rest will be covered in part two. This is Nepenthes Titan Angel, which is Truncata by Aristolochioides. I've covered this in a video already, but I wanted to touch on it here. Uh, this is very clearly uh, you can see the influence of both parents here, especially the Aristolochioides, that's very dominant uh, in that kind of narrow pitcher mouth and all that. But with the truncata, you see the narrow leaf attachment as well. One thing that's kind of fun about these is that a few of them seem to have some variegation on the leaves. Um, it's sort of vague, 
and uh, and and not obvious if it's going to persist, but it's on a couple of leaves, uh, and you can see it on this plant as well. Little stripe there, little one there, and this plant actually, the variegation has passed to the pitchers, and the only other variegated nepenthes. Well, that's not true. There are a handful of variegated nepenthes that do that, but there are a few more that have variegation on the leaves, but not the pitchers. So it would be cool if this is a, a stable trait, uh, because that's that's a fun thing to know about how variegation crops up in standard breeding. But we'll have to uh, we'll have to do a lot more work to establish any kind of numbers on that. So uh, that's part one of our breeding program. These are sort of our bigger plants that I've covered in the past. Uh, for part two, I'm going to go over to the other room where we have a number of our smaller, kind of more recent crosses, as well as the rest of the Titan crosses. So thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to see more stuff like this, and let me know if you have any questions about any of these plants.